Jeff channel for the Events Calendar. While Events Calendar Pro provides some calendar widgets that you can add to your site sidebars and such, sometimes you don't want the calendar content in a sidebar. You want it squarely in the content of a post or page directly. With the Events Calendar family of plugins, you have several methods for accomplishing the insertion of event content directly into posts and pages. The first method is inserting full calendar views. You can insert complete calendar views into any post, page, or other post types that allow for short codes to be used, and this is possible by using the Tribe Events short code. So as you can see on your screen, I've already gone in and clicked the Add Post button. We have an example post title. So here in the block, I'm going to look for short code. I'm going to paste in the Tribe Event short code, and that's going to auto save. We'll do a preview. And we should see a list of events on this example post. And here you go. Here's where they are. So you can see the full calendar view of events on this post. The mini calendar widget provides a miniature calendar view that while not as robust as the true month view of the main calendar can still be quite useful. To insert a miniature calendar view into a post or page content, you can use the following short code provided by events calendar pro. So on your screen here, we're going to go back to our example post. Click a block, there's the short code, and there you can see try mini calendar. We'll save draft. Then we'll take a look at the preview. And here we see the miniature calendar. And yes, as you can see, because of the name of the events and how things are displayed in these squares, uh, you may need to do some CSS tweaks with your theme. Uh, this demo site is currently using the cadence theme, but there's only so much information you can cram into these little squares. So this is one of the drawbacks of using the miniature calendar view. Uh, if you want to extend this short code, you can add various arguments such as category equals black tie events, or you can set it to display tag for members only. And there are a slew of different filters and arguments, and we'll have a link to that page to our knowledge base article that explains all those various short codes and how to use them down in the video description below. As of WordPress 4.4 and the events calendar 4.2, you can embed single events into any WordPress post types content. Doing this is pretty easy. All you got to do is head to the event that you want to embed elsewhere, copy its permalink URL, and then paste this URL into the content of the poster page inside of which you want the event to be inserted. And it will look something like this. So as you can see, it almost looks like a card. It tells you a free RSVP. It's shareable. You have... The events featured image would show up right here as a thumbnail. There's a link and then you can see other areas of the event. But what you can't do is alter the display of how this looks. That is where the tribe event inline short code comes into play. So if we go back to our example post, as you can see, I've already laid out the short code here with the ID of 1228. I've added the thumbnail argument, the link title, the time and start date and the end date, along with an excerpt of the event's description. And if we take a preview of that, let's see what that looks like. Here you go. In this post, we are embedding the thumbnail for that event in this particular post. There is the link title, there's the date, and there is the excerpt. Again, there's many more arguments that you can use, and we'll have a link to that guide in the video description below. Now you might want to provide front-end access to settings and tools to log in approved users or even use one of your own pages or posts instead of what Community Events provides out of the box. With Community Event shortcodes, you can embed options to submit or edit events and manage attendees and orders. And as you can see from the Community Event shortcodes, which we'll link to in the video description below, there is a host of different arguments that you can use to come up with a unique display of how your community events look on the front end of your website. If you run into any issues, we highly encourage you to contact our support team. Good luck.